In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert your existing columns into drop downs here in Google Sheets. I'm going to show you two ways on how you can do this. The first one would be if you've already converted your data into a table or you have your existing data in a table. With this pre-built tables here in Google Sheets, it's quite easy to edit your column types. And one of the options would be to turn your column into a drop down. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to this drop down option right here. At the very top, you can see edit column type. On the right side, you will see these numerous options of what you can do within that column. And one of them would be to turn that column into a drop down. So if we click on this right now, there you have it. You have your data validation rules open on the right side where all of the existing unique values within that column will be turned into an option for each of your drop down. So in that column, we have the camera bag, the tripod, the camera lens, and the memory card. These are the unique values that were found in that column. And again, they are now turned into your option for your drop down. Now you can edit the color of each of these options just to make them pop out some more. And the color choice is totally up to you, whichever you like or whichever you want to use, that's totally fine. If we click on done, there we have it. And of course, whichever option you had before you turn into a dropdown will be the selected one for each of your dropdowns. So if we had a camera bag right here, before it was a drop down, it will still be selected as the option for that drop down. Now, what if your data is not in a table? Let's go to our second example right here. We have the same data, just not converted into a table, but turning that column into a drop down is basically the same thing. If we select this range right here, right click on it and select drop down, it will have the same process of extracting those unique values and creating the drop down with the same unique values found in that column. Another way to do that would be again, select that range, go to Winsert, and again, select drop down. It will give you the same thing. Again, you can assign a color for each of these options. Color choice is totally up to you. And there you have it. Click on done. And that's how to convert your existing columns into drop downs here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.